Welcome back. What was what was the, the reasoning for returning, I suppose? Uh, well, there was probably a lot of reasons. I can't pinpoint one in particular, but the, the program's improved a lot. Or well, I've been told like there's massive um, changes and it's really good to have Dave Bartlett on board and just the added, uh, like the added uh, positive of uh, Nashi um, doing a bit of individuals with um, like all the players and kind of coming back to my second home, which is, yeah, it's nice. Who are some of the players that you're really looking forward to, to playing with this season? Oh, Kath, of course. I played with her uh, a few seasons ago and pretty much all the local girls. It's, it's good to play with them again and see how much they've developed in the two, three years I've been gone. And some of them, some of the younger ones I coached and now I'm playing with, so it's, it's kind of cool, yeah. Are you a different, you obviously had that time over in, in Perth, which must have been invaluable for yourself. Are you returning as a, as a stronger player, both, I guess, on and off the court in terms of leadership, do you think? Uh, in terms of leadership, I do think so. I'm, I'm a more confident player in person and I've had a bit more experience um, over there and with the National League so yeah I think that um, yeah it has definitely helped my basketball yeah. What was some of the, the stuff you took out of your time at the national level? Oh it's just it was pretty amazing to uh, be part of such a professional organisation and the level of basketball as, for Australia is actually really impressive and uh, uh, like just the care they take of their players and all the added, you know, strength and conditioning and all of that kind of, and they give you a lot of education about it all and nutrition and all that. So it's, yeah, it's all good. That you know. professionalism, are there elements of that you'll, you'll look to sort of implement without overstepping your boundaries, I guess, this year? Uh, yeah, there's possibly a few little things I might want to, yeah, incorporate. Like we, I remember with Lynx, we had like a 40 minute warm up and uh, maybe not quite to that extent, but I think as you get older, especially reducing injury, it, it comes in handy to have that kind of warm up. Yeah. Did you follow the charges much last season? Obviously, they had they were really strong uh, at times, and then they sort of dropped off um, come the end of end of the year. Mm. Um, is it, was their progress something that you were following? Uh, not super closely. I uh, I was um, going to university last year and busy with basketball myself. But um, yeah, I followed a little bit and keeping track of certain players. But uh, yeah, I knew that um, they definitely um, hit their stride towards the end of the season. And yeah, it's just unfortunate they didn't get there. But, yeah. Have you set yourself any personal expectations on the court this year? Uh, not specific ones. I have vague ones. But yeah, soon I'll, they'll have to start getting a little more solid. But uh, yeah, just to, uh, my, my last season I was in a bit of pain um, from injury and I was suffering with that all, all season so it's good to have a bit of a um, bit, bit of time here before like everyone gets here and um, you know try and make sure that's not an issue and yeah getting to be pain free and have a solid season. Yeah. Will you come in close to 100% do you think? Um, I don't know yet, at the moment I'm not full, full training load but yeah, um, the plan is to be up for the first game, yeah.